Hey everybody, it's Kevin Carr, and in this video, I'm gonna give you the three most important strength tests that you must do with yourself and your clients to predict longevity and long-term health. The value of continuing to build and maintain our muscle mass and strength as we age cannot be overstated. Maximizing our strength span over our life or the period of time where we have adequate muscle mass and strength reserve improves our overall well-being, makes us more resilient, and leads to greater late life independence and lifespan. In order to quantify if we have adequate strength span, it's important to have tests to see how we stack up against the research and others within our age group. In this video, I'm going to give you three tests that are extensively studied, safe, practical and easy to implement. The 30 second sit to stand test is a widely accepted functional capacity test used to measure lower body strength, power and functional ability. The 30 second sit to stand test has been demonstrated as a reliable and valid measure to predict physical independence and fall risk in the aging population. Reducing fall risk is so important with older populations because we know accidental falls are the leading cause of accidental death as well as non-fatal injury in people over the age of 60 years old. After the age of 60, you are 2.78 times more likely to die in the year following a hip fracture. We also know that people who have low muscle mass and score low on a sit to stand test are over 12 times more likely to lose their independence as they age when compared to their stronger and fitter counterparts. Parts. This is an easy, low impact test that can serve as a barometer of function for your older clients so that they can track progress and make sure they're not losing their functional abilities as they get older. Simply sit in a chair or 18 inch box with your arms crossed and hands on your shoulders. Start the clock and see how many times you are able to get up and down in 30 seconds. Scoring below the ranges shown here indicates greatly increased risk for an accidental fall or loss of physical independence with age. I would recommend doing this test on intake with older clients and regularly retesting over time to track progress and make sure that we're not losing our abilities as we get older. Although it is a proxy measure, grip strength is a widely researched assessment for grip strength and resiliency. It's been shown to correlate with osteoporosis, sarcopenia, heart disease, and even all-cause mortality. It's important to realize that the value of grip strength as it relates to overall health doesn't mean the strong hands and forearms alone are the secret to longevity. Grip strength is simply a useful proxy to look at overall robustness and physical strength. I find this is a useful intake test to use with clients who might be limited from participating in other strength tests due to injury or weakness. It's also a great test that you can do easily and regularly to track and measure progress throughout the training process. Simply use a grip dynamometer that you can buy on Amazon for cheap and grip as hard as possible while standing and keeping the elbow bent to 90 degrees. Measure both hands and take the average between the two scores. There are numerous studies quantifying grip strength by age and sex, as well as grip strength as it relates to relative risk for mortality. Pause the video and take a look at the values shown on the charts here. A push-up capacity test is a simple practical measure for strength, cardiovascular risk, and functional ability. We know from the research that push-up capacity is inversely associated with 10-year cardiovascular risk in men aged 21 to 66 years old. Men able to do as little as 11 push-ups had significantly reduced risk of cardiovascular disease compared to men who were only able to do 10 push-ups or less. And men able to do 40 or more push-ups had 96% reduced risk of cardiovascular disease compared to men who could only do 10 or less. Simply have the client perform as many push-ups as possible with perfect form, touching a pad or towel at the bottom to ensure full range of motion. Terminate the test when they are no longer to complete push-ups with proper form. If you can't do push-ups on the floor, work on doing push-ups on an incline with a barbell in a rack, a bench, or a plyometric box. And over time, progressively move your hands closer to the floor by moving the barbell down or moving to a lower box or bench. Be sure to check out my other video on basic push-up progressions and regressions if you need to improve your push-up capacity. There you go, the 30 second sit to stand test, grip strength, and push-up capacity are all simple, widely researched measures that you can use to assess strength, overall health, and longevity. To see the complete list of references, head down to the comments section below. Be sure to like, share, comment, and make sure to hit subscribe after the video. Thanks for watching.